Okay, hi. So in this video, we're going to be speaking about adult cell cloning. Now, adult cell cloning is something which is relatively new, and it's still pretty rare because it's quite difficult in comparison to other types of cloning. And that is because it involves taking an adult cell. So we take adult cells, as the name suggests, and these cells are not the eggs sperm or embryos okay so what we're taking is fully fledged adult cells and we're turning those into clones of that organism so it's very difficult one example would be taking a skin cell if we took your skin cell and we ended up producing a clone of yourself from that skin cell that is basically what adult cloning is now let's have a look in practice at how this works. So in your textbooks you'll always be given sheep as an example because Dolly the sheep was the first animal to be cloned in this way. However, as that's the example you'll always see, I'm going to use a different one. So let's say we wanted to clone this evil looking monkey right here. Now, what we would do, we wouldn't go up, we'd go down here, is we would take a skin cell from our monkey. So skin cell. It can be other types of cells but skin cells are a good one. So we take skin cells. We only really need one skin cell. Okay and this blob in the middle is of course the nucleus. And what we're then going to do is we're going to remove the nucleus. remove the nucleus and that's what we're going to keep so we've just got this nucleus okay now it's important that at the same time as we're doing this we have another monkey who's going to act as the mother so we've got this happy looking monkey here of course these two would never mate because this angry monkey and this happy monkey don't look very compatible they're not very similar but we we're going to take a mature egg so a mature egg from this mother monkey. So this is what we call a mature egg or ovum. Okay, and we're going to remove the nucleus from the egg. That is just going to give us the egg without a nucleus. So nucleus removed. But we don't keep the nucleus of the egg, we just keep the rest of the egg because this is going to house our new nucleus. And so importantly, these two processes are happening at the same time. So at the same time, let's just highlight that. That's another reason why this is so difficult. So at the same time, and what we then do is we add, so the nucleus is added to the egg with no nucleus, which we call enucleated, and we also provide small electric shock. A small electric shock. And this leads to your egg cell taking up the nucleus and now that has become an embryo and this electric shock causes the embryo to start dividing and once it's divided it makes a mature embryo that embryo we then take this so let's say this then forms embryo we take the embryo and we plant it in to the womb of another monkey. So the embryo is put into the womb of this monkey here who's going to act as the actual mother. So when I said that this monkey is acting as the mother, it's acting as the mother because the egg cell is going to is going to produce the uh, the offspring. However, this monkey is not actually going to get pregnant because we've taken the egg away. So we need to make another monkey pregnant. So we put this uh, um, embryo, sorry, into the new monkey 
And then what are we going to get? Well, we are going to get an exact clone of our original. So we started off with this angry monkey. We wanted to clone the angry monkey. And the reason why it's worked is because the nucleus was taken from this original monkey. The nucleus is the part of your cell which contains all your DNA. And so the only DNA in this monkey, the only DNA that we have implanted into the uh, egg cell, which has then become the embryo, is of the original angry monkey. And so that's why we have cloned it successfully. It, of course, wouldn't come out as an adult. It would come out as an as a young baby, but it would grow up and become genetically identical to the parent. Okay, so a brief overview. It's right down here. Overview. We take a body cell, body cell, and we take the nucleus. So body cell nucleus of animal to be cloned. Then we take an egg cell minus the nucleus from another. Then we fuse them and we plus a small electric shock electric shock which equals division into embryo plant embryo into womb of new mother We obviously we provide that mother with some hormones to tell the mother that it's going to get pregnant, but I don't want to confuse the process too much. And then once that's been done, uh, we have pregnancy, which then leads to clone of original. And so that's the animal that we've taken the nucleus out of, the original animal. Okay, so that's the process. We have the original animal which is going to be the one we started with using the body cell, so up there, and that is the process. Now Dolly the sheep was the first animal in which this was successful and this is an example that you need to know. So Dolly the sheep And Dolly the Sheep was obviously the first success in 1997. Hundreds of attempts had been carried out before that. So hundreds of attempts failed before. And so now it's getting slightly easier, but this is still a very difficult process, a very expensive process, and one in which failure is very common. And so in the future, scientists are hoping to be able to do this way more easily because this is the only way really that we can take an adult and we can produce an exact clone of that adult animal. Whereas in plants, it's of course way easier and we can still produce clones of each other in terms of animals using embryos, but they are not clones of the original parent. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. If you have got any questions, then please do feel free to send me an email using the link below or by commenting and I'll be sure to get back to you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.